15 naps should be short, real short. Okay, I did it individually because I promised, I sent an email to the people that are working on the portal data and I told them I was going to put this video up soon. So I did it separately for them so they don't have to listen to so, so much data before they look at what they want to look at. So this one's called Line 15F while study terrestrial time TT IAU Tycho 2 Pearl Star Catalog Tiki Wiki CMS Groupware. And those are the things that we're going to talk about. This is about the Wild Seti 1977 signal, line 15A, 31, 3, 111, 11, and 1. It's the mathematical equation that brings up all this data, okay? So, for, as you know, there's a several videos that come up with, fifth, with the word PERL, P-E-R-L. Well, I had, I knew it was a computer program. We found that out as we went along. And then, uh, I didn't know what it was for. I knew it had something to do with NASA because I, I always Google the word NASA beside something to see if the two of them are connected at all. And of course, if they come up together, then I know I'm on the right track, right? So I'm just going scrolling down here to the notes here. This is all the stuff we did for the last videos. You have to start at 15A or else you're going to get lost because most of the data comes up in there and then I just kind of break it down and I do the explanation. I, I am getting comments that people don't understand this stuff. I don't understand it any more than you. But what you can do by learning is by watching each of the videos. You need to watch at least four or five in a row because I'll give I'll bring up the data first and then I go back and, and try to find out what it means. Okay. So this is 15F. This will be the final video for the line 15 section. Um, line 16 is connected to it though. It's all connected. Everything's connected. So. Let's go with terrestrial time. We were talking about it in 15E. It came up, the Julian date. So your J2000, that's the terrestrial time you'll be given when you look at a star or a planet. And J stands for um, epoch J. Basically J stands for the, the beginning of the year, 12, the 12th hour, like noon time. Okay, so terrestrial time. It's a time scale established by the International Astronomical Union, IAU, to serve as the independent argument for apparent geocentric ephemerides. Ephemerides? That is, TT is used for the prediction or recording of the positions of celestial bodies as measured by an observer on Earth. It is the successor to ephemeris time, so ET. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Iki go home. Okay, but it's based on the <laughs> SI seconds. Sorry. Terrestrial time is effectively equal to international atomic time, TAI, plus 32.184 seconds. Exactly. So TT equals TAI plus 32.184 seconds. So the epoch designation J2000.0 is specified as the Julian date 2451545.0 TT. Ah, now I get it. So what they're doing is they take the time and they add this 32184 and that's how you get. That doesn't make sense though. Because if you take 2000 and add, never mind. Okay, we still don't know what we're doing. 2451545.0 TT or 2000 January 1st, 12 hours, 12 noon TT. This epoch can also be expressed as 2000, January 1st, 1159, 27, 8.816 TAI, or 2000, January 1st. Anyways, you get the address, UTC time. So if you want to look this up, you want to go to aa.usno.navy.mil and look it up there. Okay? So I also came up with the Tycho 2 type catalog. Is it is a catalog of more than 2.5 million of the brightest stars, and if you want to look at this, did I bring it down here? No. Okay, hold on. You got to see this. This is so cool. This is a star catalog. Actually, I didn't actually get into the catalog. Sorry, that was the other one. Um. Oops. No. Okay. Never mind. Maybe it'll come up later. I don't know where that catalog is. Anyways, what it does is um, the catalog has the astromat 
astrometric reference catalog contains positions, proper motions, and two color photometric data for the 2,539,913 of the brightest stars in the Milky Way, of which about 5,000 are visible to the naked eye. Components of double stars with separations down to 0 0.8 arc seconds. Yeah, let's check on photometric data. Photometric astronomy is a technique of astronomy concerned with measuring the flux or intensity of an astronomical object electromagnetic radiation. Okay, just so you know what that is real quick. So, PEARL equals a star catalog. The actual data PEARL is used to, to pull data. So, a PEARL program for extracting data from the catalog is available. If you go to archive.eso.org astrom, Tycho 2 file formats, WCS tools software uses the files, catalog data, and index data. So, PEARL is a high-level, general-purpose, interpreted dynamic programming language. So I knew it was a programming language, but I, not had, I didn't know it was for stars. So I was like really excited to find that out. So Pearl 6 is the latest one that's been released in 2012. And they're still doing, uh, it's a major revision of the Pearl programming language. I guess they were having some issues with it. They had a lot of problems with it. So I thought it was interesting that this stuff came up in the WOW signal. Because not only does Pearl 6 come up, but there's other programs that have programming language with them that you might want to use in this program to make it work better because I know you've been having some problems uh, with it according to some blog posts I looked at. In December 2010 they were having issues with it. So it is still in development so you're still, they're still working on it. As a specific form from which several interpreter and compiler implementations are being written it is introducing elements of many modern and historical languages so it's combining other ancient languages as well as um, current languages, which is a really good idea. I wish they'd put the Mayan language in there. That would be really cool because they really knew their stuff about the stars. And I think that would be awesome. Pearl 6 is in... Pearl 6. Sorry, not sex. Pearl 6 is intended to have many implementations. Backward comp comp <laughs> compatibility with earlier versions of Pearl is not a goal. So compatibility mode is part of the specification. Design process of, for Pearl 6 began in 2000. So they've been working on this program for 12 years. Development on PUGS. The first high traction implementation began in 2005. And today there are multiple Pearl 6 implementation projects. Rakuto Pearl is based on Parrot and NQP. And it releases a new version every month. In July 2010, the project released the first Rakudu Star Distribution, a useful and usable collection of, of Pearl 6 implementation and related materials. Larry Wall maintains a reference grammar known as STD.PM6, written in Pearl 6 and bootstrapped with Pearl 5. The first major dis distribution released during the Rakudo implementation named Rakudo or Rakudu Star occurred in July 2010. NISA, another Pearl, major Pearl 6 implementation, focuses on optimization and efficient implementation research. It targets the common language runtime. <sighs> so if you want to go wiki and Google Pearl 6, you can find it. So wow, the Mali, Ma Mayan alien Pearl 6 plus the Tiki Wiki CMS groupware. This is a Mayan alien idea from this wow signal. They said to put these two together. So you want to see, um, those of you doing the Pearl programming, you also want to go to the video that says line 12, Wow Seti's X-Links interface, PCL, Kubrid video for more details. And let me just double check here. Line 12 is video number 62. Okay. And it comes right after the alien binary tree crop circle video. So we got to go back to F. Sorry, I lost my spot here. Okay, so Tiki Wiki CMS group where it came up earlier in the video. I didn't know what it was for. It's, it's a brand new Siri uh, program language that's been written 2010, 2011. Sorry, 2011 is when it came out, I think. Something. It's it's fairly new, anyways. It's a full-featured web-based multilingual 
40 plus languages. Now I know the Pearl was working on um, languages, so I thought that was cool. It's tightly integrated, all-in-one wiki plus CMS plus groupware, free source software, GNU, LGPL using PHP, MYSQL, ZEND, Framework, jQuery, and Smarty. Sorry, S-M-A-R-T-Y. Tiki can be used to create all kinds of web applications, sites, portals, knowledge base, Internets and extranets. It is actively actively developed by a very large international community. Tiki offers a very large number of features out of the box, arguably more than any other open source web application. Highly configurable and modular, all features are optimal and administered via a web-based interface. Major features include a robust wiki engine, news articles, discussion forums, newsletters, blogs, file and image galleries, bug and issue trackers, form generating, and much more. This actually came up from the equation that w was in line 12. Okay, so you want to take the Tiki Wiki CMS group where add it to Perl 6 for a web-based multilingual 40 plus languages. Okay, my first set of thoughts on 15F. Google the word Perl 6 to see if it's been released yet. That was my first thing to do. They originally started to develop the Perl Star Data Extractor program back in 2000. I'm not sure if this is the right program that I'm looking at. Quote, the next release of Rakudo number 48, these are the people I emailed, is scheduled for January 19th, 2012. A list of the other planned release dates and code names for 2012 is available in the Docs Release Guide pod file. In general, Rakudo development releases are scheduled to occur soon after each Parrot monthly release. Parrot releases the third Tuesday of each month. It's using the same kind of wording, so I'm assuming they have something to do with each other. So it says, have a great deal of fun. What's the difference between the Rakudo compiler and the Kudu star distribution? The Rakudo compiler is a compiler for the Perl 6 language, nothing else. The Rakudo star distribution is the Rakudo compiler plus a se selection of useful Perl 6 modules, the most recent incarnation of the using Perl 6 book and other software that can be used with the Rakudo compiler to enhance its utility. Rakudo Star is meant for early adopters who wish to explore what's possible with Rakudo Perl 6 and provide feedback on what works, what doesn't, and what else they would like to see included in the distribution. distribution. So they actually set up a, a, an online forum with this program where you can give your thoughts and suggestions as how to make it better. So announced Rakudo Perl 6 compiler development release number 47, Columbus by Moritz Lentz. And I found that post at www.nntp.perl, which is P-E-R-L, dot org. Okay? And I'll, again, that will be blogged on the Victoria Stafford a Psychic Investigations on WordPress with the link. The following people contributed to this release. Jonathan Worthington, Moritz Lentz, Will Coleda, Michael Schroeder, Tadeusz Sonsenierz, Solomon Foster, Zohar Kalrick, Die Fotter, Jimmy Z, Jonathan Scott Duff, Jeffrey Broadwell Woody. If you'd like to contribute, see, go to the rakudo.org forward slash how to help with the hyphens in between them. And ask on the Perl 6 compiler at perl.org mailing list or ask on the IRC dot, uh, IR, on Merck, I guess Merck number PER16. They're still using Merck? I used to chat on that years ago on Freenode. Paste it from www.nntp.perl.org forward slash group forward slash perl dot perl six dot compiler forward slash two zero one one dash twelve. So it was December 2011 forward slash msg 7800.html. Okay. And let's go on this other side here. See what notes I've got over here before I pop back over to the other thing. Okay, that's still that star chart from the from E. Morphology class frig related links xjet. Okay, that's the xjet uh, radar thing. So I'm gonna go to my notes on line F. Okay, so this is the WOW study signal. I did that already. I don't know if I gave you guys 
the title or not, I don't remember. Line 15 F while SETI Terrestrial Time TTIAU Tyco 2 Pearl Star Catalog Tiki Wiki CMS Groupware. Yeah, I did give it to you. And it's part number, hold on, 74. That was number 74. So this one's going to be part number 75. Okay, we're almost there. 25 more videos to go. Oops, not 750. Well, I'm assuming there's going to be 25 videos. There might be more. You never know. Okay. So January 16, 2012, 9.03 p.m. Eastern Standard Times when I wrote that note. Today is January the 20th at 12.46 p.m. F is uh, going to be about terrestrial time. TT is a time scale established by the International Astronomical Union, IAU, Tycho 2 Catalog, and the Pearl 6 catalog, Star Catalog. My second set of thoughts on line 15F. The Tycho 2 Catalog Stars has more in it than the Messier Catalog from the last video. The Messier Catalog only has about 100 or so vid, uh, star formations in it. I just looked at the terrestrial time and clicked on the link to check it out. Very cool. It's an astronomical almanac, and th this is what it's all about. I was hoping to learn more about the positioning coordinates of stars and planets from Google Sky to see if I'm saying it the right way. Quote, the Astronomical Almanac is a joint publication of the U.S. Nautical Almanac Office, United States Naval Observatory, Observatory USNO, in the United States, and Her Majesty's Nautical Almanac Office, HMNAO, United Kingdom Hydrographic Office UKHO in the United Kingdom. The printed version contains precise uh, ephemerides of the sun, moon, planets, and satellites data for eclipses and other astronomical phenomena for a given year and serves as a worldwide standard for each for such information. The online version extends the printed version by providing data best presented in machine readable form and that's pasted from asa.usno.navy.mil forward slash index.html The other thing that came up was the asa.usno Navy Mail Section M Glossary. Okay, so there's that link there. So Tiki Wiki CMS Groupware. Message to add it to the Pro program because it has over 40 plus languages in its interface. It's from line 12 and line 15A and 15F. Where this program can be the answer to some of the problems that the Perl program is experiencing. I just found out today that Perl is used to extract star chart data. I knew it was some sort of computer program based on the research that I've come up with. I didn't know what it was before that, okay? But now that I know what it's for, I think it's cool that it came up so many times. For those of you working on the Perl program, Take a look at uh, the other inventions, data, and things that came up with this particular word during my searching. You want to look at the WOW study videos with the word PEARL in the data line. Line 9, 11A, 12, 14A, 14B, 15A, 15B, 15C, 15D, 15E, 15F, and line 23B, as of January 16, 2012. That's basically what's come up so far in my notes. I still haven't finished researching um, the rest. I just researched up to line 15. I have a, a more data to go through all the way up to line 27. So we've got another 12 lines to go. So who knows? It could come up again. I'll, I'll update you if that's the case. Anyways, that's the end of, of 15F. And... The next one's going to be line 16, and it looks like I'm going to have to do some research. I'm not done. I haven't finished it yet. Okay, so I'll get back to you soon.